Good morning, sir. First of all, I congratulate you for successfully organizing the Smart India Hackathon 19 at KIET. Thank you. So there were 18 nodal centers of SIH hardware edition this year. So what, according to you, were the parameters for the selection of KIET as one of the nodal center? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, we feel privileged uh, to have been chosen as one of the 18 nodal centers in the country. And now we are at the same platform as that of IITs, NITs and other universities. So it's a matter of pride for KIT proper institutions for all the students and faculty fraternity. Now the parameters are first and foremost is the availability of infrastructure. Now as you are aware, KIT group of institution, though a private institution, but it has got the infrastructure at par with some of the IITs also. So that is our strength. And second, the strength is we are a very compact uh, uh, campus and the attitude of our entire team is very, very positive, which probably one may not find in some of the institutions. And thirdly, the proximity to Delhi and the connectivity and other issues. So all put together, I think it's a very wise selection of the selection committee to have chosen KIT group of institutions as one of the nodal centers. And sir, what is your opinion about the SIH scheme of MHRD? Yeah. A uh, very, very important, very relevant question. Uh, see, if I uh, think globally to answer this question, uh, in the Global Innovation Index, India is still 57th out of a list of 130 countries. So that is, we are close to halfway mark. Now, the countries which are most successful, most developed, they have got the best of the technologies. These are those countries where the Innovation Index is much higher. Like you see Israel. You see Switzerland, Finland, Singapore, China, all these countries have got very, very high innovation index. Now, SIH is a step towards that particular moment to increase the innovation index, to increase the spirit of innovation among students. Now, unless we find the solutions through these kind of hackathons, which are faced by the society or which are faced by the industry, we cannot actually go global, we cannot actually truly become a developed country. So innovation and development, they are like directly proportional to each other. So in my opinion, SIH is very, very timely. Approximately 2 lakh students all over India, they participated in the first round. So they started thinking about the innovation. And out of that, uh, there are so many teams, I think almost 200 teams which have been selected and they are working in 18 nodal centers across the country. So these kind of activities are going to change the thought and the attitude towards the innovation. More we know it, more we become the developed. And more startups and more entire infrastructure of the country is going to have a sea change. So in my opinion, SIH 2019, both software and the present one hardware edition are a very, very great step towards the development of the country. Yes, sir. So how would you, as the director of KIET, would encourage the students of KIET to participate in the future editions of SIH? Yeah, see, our students, uh, they are as such moving on the, or onto the path of innovation. Uh, I'm very proud to say that in our institution, we have got an innovation center now. Now, innovation center is a platform where the students, besides their regular curriculum, they are able to innovate, they are able to create. Now, in my opinion, there are, there are three important stages. One is the ideate, you have to create the idea. Thereafter, you have to create, that is the prototype. And third is the incubate. Now, these three activities in KIT group of institutions, institutions have already started. In fact, I am very happy to share with the, the audience that we have also created a new appointment uh, in the institution by the name of Dean IEC that is the Dean Innovation and Entrepreneurship Council. Now the purpose of this new appointment is to create the innovative culture, to become innovation uh, friendly. This culture we are going to start right from the day one, right from the first year students. The first year students are now going to think innovative and they will not have to wait for making the project once they come to the third year or final year. So that kind of a platform, that kind of a culture we are research creating in our institution. Now, a platforms like SIH definitely is going to motivate our students. And I'm sure this kind of a step which we have taken
creation of a new appointment, creation of innovation council, innovation center. All these are going to motivate our students uh, to participate more and more, not only in SIH, more uh, hackathons which are happening globally and also the national. So I think uh, this kind of this this particular event of SIH 2019, it will act as a catalyst for our students because everybody likes the recognition, everybody likes the kind of a support. And the attention, media attention which SIH 2019 has got, right from you see the HRD Minister, you see the Minister of State, you see the attention which uh, print and social media is getting on this SIH, I think is going to give a great boost to the innovation, con innovation concept in the country. And definitely our students are uh, going to get benefited out of all this uh, uh, culture which is, cultural change which is going to happen in our country. So is there anything that you would like to say to the students of KIT who are watching you? Yeah, uh, see I would definitely like to give a very strong message uh, through this uh, platform uh, that uh, your studies uh, is absolutely essential, you know, your basics are absolutely essential and beyond that one has to innovate, one has to work beyond the academics and that can come only when you dream big, you know, it's always a good idea. Uh, to give employment rather than seek employment. Now, countries passing through a stage uh, with the uh, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji at the helm of affairs, where uh, India is progressively moving from being a developed country to a developed country. So, uh, opportunities are immense in all the areas. So, it is up to us, up to the students to choose either to work for somebody or to make other people work under them. So my strong message to everybody would be, let's make use of this change which country is passing through and the ample of opportunities. Think globally, think innovative, create your own companies. In fact, KIT Group of Institution has got another strong asset with, with us, that is Technological Business Incubator, TBI. Now I'm very happy to share that almost uh, close to 70 companies, student-driven companies, they have already graduated from the institution. So in your own campus, you have got a innovation council. In your own campus, you have got a TBI. So everything is there with you. Now the students must make use of these opportunities. And uh, rather than the job seekers, they should become the job givers. That is my very, very strong uh, recommendation to all the students. But one more thing I would like to say. All these things are possible only once your fundamentals are very strong. And that can be possible only once you give this as a very, very important consideration in your academics. I mean, there is no point in making a building once your foundation is very weak. So my appeal to all the students is, you know, whatever your background is, you know, whatever your marks are there in 12th or maybe first year. But then if you have to think big, you have to grow big, you have to have very, very strong fundamentals. So have a very strong fundamentals, have a lot of basics cleared. Thereafter, other than the curriculum, move on the innovation and take a lot of MOOC courses. There are large number of online courses available on NPTEL certification by the Government of India. In addition, we have got Coursera platform, we have got many other platforms which students are aware. So all these platforms must be exploited. So one skill you choose and you become the master of that skill. Slowly the country is going to have a change where your degrees are slowly going to become irrelevant. What is going to be relevant are your skills. If you have a skill, then definitely you are going to win the award and you are going to be respected. You may be aware, a plumber in US who has got a skill, he draws at least 10 times more salary than an engineer. Yes, sir. So that Because he has got a skill. So time is going to change where your skills are going to surpass all that degrees. So whatever area you choose, be a master of one area and you can be a uh, jack of all, there is no problem, but then I would like the, all students to become a master of at least one trait or one skill. That is the message I would like to give to all the students uh, through this platform. So how do you feel organizing such a mega event here at KIET? Yeah, see uh, our students, uh, those who came from so many uh, colleges, 14 teams from uh, uh, 10 different states, and a uh, lot of them from southern India. In fact, Tamil Nadu centers the five teams. They were so excited to come here at a different institution. But I found that my own team here, at all levels, including the deans, HODs, uh, faculty, and the students, volunteer students, they all were more excited than the participating students. 
it was like a festival in the campus everybody came forward in fact there were faculty and students who were awake the whole night voluntarily and uh, there was nobody felt that there is the additional responsibility of come on to them or is additional burden on to them so that uh, uh, that was a very present uh, feeling as the head of the institution to see the participation of each and every student also we felt uh, that uh, uh, the kind of a hospitality in terms of logistics or the kind of a technical help which we could uh, extend to the participating institution was phenomenal like one of the student uh, they wanted uh, their samples to be tested uh, on a particular equipment so as an institution finally we could tie up with one of the premier institutions that is iit roorkee and then we have sent our team along with the faculty for the testing of samples there at iit roorkee in fact one of the nodal center uh, in delhi ncr they sought our help for fabrication of a pcb for their participating teams so that was again a very very important feather in the cap of the institutions where the other nodal centers are banking on us uh, for the help for their students so it talks of uh, a, you know kind of attitude of our faculty and students and it it, it uh, also talks of the kind of a confidence the environment has got on our institution so uh, it's a good feeling very very great feeling and yesterday i was amazed to find uh, that all the participating students they moved to unit mandir and uh, they had a good function in the temple uh, along with the pandit ji and it was a good uh, about an hour function so i think Uh, technical activities logistics and then religious and everything put together it was a very very satisfying experience for uh, all the kitians in this campus so please share some motivating words for the participants of sih and come back and to congratulate the coming winners yeah uh, see uh, almost uh, uh, i'll say 100 plus students along with their faculty mentors about 15 faculty members and from uh, as i said 10 states and 14 teams i would like to congratulate all of them because as far as i am concerned all of them are winners because initial numbers were almost 2 lakhs from those 2 lakhs if uh, 200 teams could be selected and uh, that's a very very less number so for me all these students are winners it's a question of how well they are able to convince the judges so each product what they have selected as per the theme given by Indian Oil Corporation and the Ministry of Textile. Each of the team has got a potential to get converted into a beautiful startup, because all these are the live industry problems which uh, they have handled uh, very methodically. Though they may not be able to find the complete solution in these five days, but at least they have uh, set the foundation of the innovation and the problem which they have selected that has been approved by the respective ministries. so that it itself should be a great motivation to this entire 14 teams so my suggestion to all of them is that they must take this initiative forward they this is just a start uh, of the innovation progress and the entire process they must take it forward and they should not stop till the time they take uh, the these product to a logical end and my uh, heartiest congratulations to all the uh, faculty mentors who have uh, come with these teams and also the principals and directors of this 14 institution uh, and uh, these are the students who are the torch bearers in their institution and they must continue to uh, be uh, the motivation uh, to the other students in their respective colleges so i would uh, recommend and i would uh, congratulate uh, all the student members the faculty members and the principals and directors of these colleges and also uh, the organizing uh, teams Uh, at to the ministry level including the mhrd innovation cell and also the aict who were instrumental in organizing this entire event so good job done uh, i think whole country is talking today about uh, this uh, smart india hackathon and i'm sure these students uh, they have uh, sown the seeds of the innovation in their respective institutions and in their own life journey which definitely are going to uh, bear the rich uh, fruits uh, uh, in times to come So best wishes for all these entire teams uh, for a fantastic start in their respective careers. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your valuable thoughts with all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Much. Thank you very much. Much. Thank. You.